Hey guys, it's the Jimmy Fan here on Jimmy Master Animatronics. And what we have here today to review for you is the Jimmy Animated 2004, uh, the musical Eyeball. This has been requested by Jordan many times, um, but due to time and everything like that, and Halloween passing by just like that, I didn't have time to get. I didn't have time to review this because then again, I bought this several. I think I bought this like a month after Halloween, right around the middle. I think I brought this around the beginning of November, I remember, yeah, that's what it was, for like $20 plus $5 shipping, so around $25 total. But the only reason I really, really liked it is because this one in particular came with the original box, which is pretty uncommon nowadays. And this one in particular was sold at Michael's in 2004, which is the earliest variant because they went from 2004 to 2006. I don't know if they brought them back in 2005, but I know they brought them back in 2006 and sold, they were sold at places like Cracker Barrel and um, Target. And this one is a dark purple version. It looks, it kind of looks pink in the camera, but it's actually a dark purple version in, in person. So there's like a pink and a dark purple. I don't know if there were any other colors or any other variants that were made, possibly, but for all I know, you know, I, I'm not sure. And this is actually the only fully working one on YouTube currently. I know Jordan has two of them, but both of them have the split gears. But there's a reason he hasn't fixed them yet. If you if you already have if you haven't already listened to him in this video, the reason he can't replace those gears is because you, the gear the shaft the gear is the exact same size, but the shaft is not. The shaft is a lot smaller, and the gears in it um, than the actual gear shaft uh, piece. So I, what I had to do is that I I finally just said screw it and I said I really I really do want to fix this because this um this is not a split gear as well of course and it also had a glitch but I'll get to that in a minute to where I, I had to um take a small bit in the screw in the drill and drill it through the ten tooth gear and then I finally got the right type of gear to fit it and it works flawlessly. I can't I have no complaints with it. The only other complaint I had with it at the time now was that it had a glitch in it. When the when the monster or whoever was narrating the, the music would say sweet, it would buzz, it would cut off for four seconds, but keep running, and then it would make this buzzing sound, and then restart or, and then continue off where it left off, which I guess is cool because it didn't skip parts of the song. But then when I took it out the other day to test it, it works fine. The glitch is no longer there anymore. I don't I've yet to understand why it does that, but. Words are interesting things, I can tell you that much, because sometimes they glitch, sometimes they don't. You don't really know when it's going to happen or if it's ever going to happen again. And I kind of wish I got a, I wish I got a video of it glitching. I don't know if I have any old videos saved on my phone or not. I'll have to look at it, but if not, then this is the only review you're getting on it. Um, but it does not glitch anymore, and it works perfectly, but I'll get to the eyeball in just a second. But first, let's get to the box. And... In an estimate, the box is no bigger than a dancing hamster. It's actually smaller than a dancing hamster. So it's, it's very, very small. And the eyeball itself is basically, um, it's the size of a softball. That helps. Anyways, it says the musical eye, and then it has these small descriptions, which I cannot read. It says, um, you can read right there. It says multicolored lights, spin it inside the eye as it rolls. And then it has it in a different language. It says place the theme for the Adams family. And it's also in a different language on each side of the box. What's spookier than a giant eyeball, the one that one that plays music? And then on the back, there's really no description. Um, yeah. This was this was sold in $16.99 in Canada and $9.99 in the U.S. 2004 Dream Industries Corporation, and the distributor was Michaels, as you could tell. Because it says Michael Stores Incorporated. So, yeah. Pretty neat overall. This is the only one I've ever um, seen that was sold at Michael's and in 2004, which kind of which is kind of skeptical because the only others I've heard of were sold in 2006. So this is definitely cool. Um, and the, I have it in its, in its casing right there, it's, or the half casing, so I can go ahead and demonstrate it while it's just in the same position. So you'll see the color changing light spin because it's, of course it's fixed. And then I'll do one video or one part of it on the floor itself. So um, yeah, that pretty much is it for me talking so I guess without further ado we'll show it to you
guess it's glitching again. But watch. Actually, I did not expect it to glitch, so for the people that wanted to hear the glitch, there it was. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. But now I guess we'll do a video of it on the floor itself and show you what it actually does. It's like a weasel ball, with, but with no weasel attached to it, if, if that helps. Because I know basically all of you want to know exactly what a weasel ball does and how it works. So, um, yeah, we'll get it out of here and show it to you on the floor here. Sometimes it gets carried away and hard to catch, and you yeah, haven't put my tree up yet. <laughs> Shows how lazy I am. But anyways, here we go. pretty much concludes this review over the Jimmy animated rolling eyeball or the musical eye as they like to call it and um, again I did not expect it to glitch but I don't really plan on using this very much if at all just because of the I don't want the paint to scratch off the eye or anything but um yeah that was a pretty interesting experience and definitely a unique item on its own uh, it's a definitely it's definitely a cheaper mechanism but overall I can't complain because it's rare enough as it is so I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and thanks for watching.